Good morning. Um, yesterday, you had a chance to talk with your families to see what your heritage was, where your ancestors came from, uh, because we're starting to learn about the Netherlands. So I'm really interested to hear some stories, and I know not everyone is from the Netherlands or has Dutch roots, so I'm excited to hear where other people um, have relatives where they're from. I also know that you had a chance to uh, watch the story by Bill Peet, the pinkish, purplish, bluish egg, which I love that story. And then you got to create your own stories. So I'm really interested to see um, how your imaginations took off with creating your own creature and what their names were and where they're from and what happened, what was the problem in your story. Today I'm going to start off with um, another Kenton family devotion. And it goes with our one from Monday, which was about Easter, the Easter opportunity. And this one is the miracle of Easter. The meal which the Kenton family and others had served to the nursing home residents had been a big success. As the adults cleared dishes off the table, the children passed out Easter baskets. Mother and Joy had filled the baskets with plastic, grass, candy Easter eggs, chocolate bunnies, and yellow marshmallow chicks. After the children passed out all the baskets, Elena took Johnny and Joy over to meet a new friend of hers. This is Elvie Wilson, began Elena. She said she wants to meet my brother and sister. Elena introduced Johnny and Joy to Mrs. Wilson. Oh, it's so nice of all of you to come today, said Elvie. Easter is such a special time. Yes, agreed four-year-old Joy. We get chocolate eggs and Easter bunnies and hunt eggs. Those are a fun part of our celebration of Easter, said Mrs. Wilson. But what does Easter really mean to us? Well, it means Jesus came alive again, said Elena. That's right, said Elvie. When Jesus came back to life, it proved to the world that he was who he said he was, the Son of God. But why did he have to die in the first place? Well, because of sin, said Johnny. Whose sin, she asked. Everybody's sin, I guess, answered Johnny. Jesus died for the sins of the people who lived when he did, and he died for our sins too. That's right, said Elvie. As I've grown older, I find myself thinking more and more about how much I love Jesus. I've done lots of wrong things in my long life, but I'm clean inside and forgiven because Jesus was punished and died in my place. That's the miracle of Easter to me, children, that I am forgiven of my sins because Jesus took my punishment for me. He loved me enough to die for me, and he loved each of you that much too. He's so precious to me, children, Elfie continued. I hope Jesus will always be precious to each of you too. Don't forget what the cross really means. Please don't ever forget. The children talked with Elvie for another hour. She told them about her family and her favorite Easter memories. When she was a little girl, Elvie rode to Easter services in a big wagon pulled by a horse. Few people had cars where she lived yet. Elena, Joy, and Johnny told Elvie about school their friends, the sports they liked, and many other things. Elvie seemed interested in everything they said. Finally, mother and father came over and told the children it was time to go. I just love your children, Elvie told their parents. I've enjoyed our visit today so very much. Kids, would you like to come back and visit Mrs. Wilson soon? Asked father. All three said they would. You guys could talk at home about some favorite Easter memories. I know that a lot of you in churches wave palm branches for Palm Sunday. Um, one of my favorite Easter memories is when I was in Europe and I was in Spain and I walked out on a balcony and I heard all of the bells on Easter morning and it just reminded me about uh, what a celebration Easter is. So I hope in the coming days you have time at home to think about what Jesus means to you and how he died on the cross to save you from your sins and that the story doesn't end there.
that he died, but he rose again and he's living today. And I hope that each of you have Jesus living in your heart today too.